Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Kimberly Pitors. I am sales engineer of the company IBA, or IBA as you prefer. <laughs> Over the last 40 years, IBA has been developing software and hardware tools for data acquisition and analysis. This can be data coming from various industrial processes or just any kind of automated process. So overall, we could say that the four industrial, industrial revolutions have led to a sophistication increase of two categories. First of all, there was a sophistication increase of the machines and the assets. We do not only have more machines than ever before, we also have more data than before. And this is also data of various data types. We have, for example, data about the state of the machines, about the material being used, about the product we're producing, and so on and so on, sometimes even combined with data from MES systems like order numbers, batch numbers, and so on. So many different data types. Basically, nowadays, a uh, production line kind of looks like this, with multiple PLCs, multiple sensors, multiple cameras, and so on and so on. So it became a quite complex production line. There's also a sophistication increase on the analytical side. So we have more data users than ever before. We have quality departments, R&D departments, maintenance departments, and so on and so on. The real challenge is, of course, that all these different data users require different information. So they all want to derive different information from these data types. It is, of course, key to ensure that these data types are accessible to the data users when they need it, and preferably in a comprehensive and readable format. So the four industrial revolutions have led to a sophistication increase on one hand of the machines and the data, on the other hand of the analytical side. And this has resulted into a new requirement. It's a requirement for a more sophisticated tool, a tool that can acquire all these different data types and make it accessible to all the different data users. If we would find and use such a sophisticated tool, we could also make more data-driven decisions. And this would, of course, help to increase productivity and efficiency. We have more data types than, than ever before, but we also have more data sources than before. Nowadays, data can come from MES systems. PLCs from different manufacturers using all kinds of interfaces and protocols. Different kinds of bus monitors, like for example, Profibus or Profinet. Sensors, all kinds of sensors. Um, and even from cameras. So we have many different data sources. So the data acquisition side became very complex. And it is, of course, key to synchronize the data from all these different data sources, because this will make sure that we can do a valuable analysis. And also, it will make sure that we can do or can find cause-effect relations. We also have more data users than before. But all these different data users also require other things. For example, some want real-time alarmings. Others want the data to be stored continuously. Someone else wants the data to be, to be recorded between certain start and stop triggers, and so on and so on. Everyone has its own requirements. So how do we get from this complex data acquisition side to transparent information? To get there, we will need a tool that cannot only acquire the data, but also record it and analyze it so that the data can become transparent information. And this can be done with the EBA system. So IBA has developed a tool called IBA PDA. PDA stands for Process Data Acquisition. So basically, what we can do with our software is acquire the data from all these different data types or all these different data sources, record it, visualize it real time, synchronize the data, and store it into data files. We also have a counterpart. This counterpart is called IBA Capture. It basically does the same thing, but for 
camera data, so video and images. All of this data is stored into data files. Afterwards, so offline, this data can, of course, be visualized. Um, and this can be done with a tool called IBA Analyzer. IBA Analyzer is a software of IBA, and it allows you to open the data, visualize it, and make some analysis on it. So you can, for example, do KPI calculations. Third-party integration is also very important for IBA. So we can, for example, import and export data. We have developed multiple different interfaces to connect to clouds and databases, third-party tools. For example, Oracle, SQL, MQTT, Kafka, and so on. A strong point of the IBA system is the connectivity. We have a very broad connectivity. Doesn't really matter what kind of systems you are using, what kind of manufacturers for the PLC, or what type of sensors, the chances are big we can connect to it, um, regardless of the manufacturer, regardless of the interface and protocol you're using. And this is also true for the cameras and the cloud systems. So we have broad connectivity. We have many different interfaces. A second strong point of the ABA, IBA system is the fact that it's 100% modular and scalable. So you could, for example, use it in a small scale plant with just one PLC and one sensor, and it could be upscaled at any time. This means the IBA system can also be used in more complex environments with multiple PLCs, multiple sensors, multiple cameras, and so on. This upscaling can be done at any time. So for example, you could start with just a small portable plug and play data logger, for, like, for example, a fault recorder, and you can upscale it uh, and grow along with the plant. So later on, it can be, you can add modules to it, you can add interfaces to it, and so on and so on. It is, of course, key to turn data into business value. And this can be done by implementing a successful digitalization strategy. The success of the digitalization strategy is characterized by three main pillars. First of all, use a data tool that can combine data of different sources, different kind of signals, different kind of sources, regardless of the manufacturer and regardless of the interface. The second point is, take more data-driven decisions, because then you could reduce downtimes. And the third pillar is, of course, to automatically analyze key values, because this will help you to increase um, the operational efficiency. So as a conclusion, we could say that the four industrial revolutions have led to a sophistication increase of the machines and the assets, and also on the analytical side. And this has caused, or this, yeah, this has caused a new requirement. It's a requirement for a tool, preferably one single open platform, that can acquire the data from all these different data types, all these different data sources, and ensure that it's available or analyzed according to the needs of the different data users. And I hope that what you learned from this 10-minute presentation is the fact that IBA is a perfect tool to do so. I would like to end this presentation with a short overview of some of our customers, so companies that rely on uh, the IBA technology for their data acquisition and analysis. So as you can see, it can be companies from any kind of industrial sector. We have companies that just use the IBA system for small production plants, connect one or two PLCs, but we also have customers that rely on us in more complex uh, production environments. <laughs> I would like to thank you all for listening and invite you to visit us at our booth. It's number 102, so right behind me. And um, I would love to discuss your data acquisition and analysis project and see what IBA can do for you in your digitalization strategy. Thank you.